Well, in other news tonight, we get back to the flooding. The community of Fountain City was out yesterday trying to mitigate floodwaters seeping up through roads next to the river. Today, the work continues as residents watch the river rise. News A Now's Emily Haugen is live from Fountain City. Emily, what's morale like among the residents? What are you seeing? Ken, I'm here along Highway 35, but more accurately, I am in Highway 35. It is underwater at this section, and this part of the road is closed off. I want you to take a look at what's behind me, though. Speaking of community, the community took part in sandbagging efforts. The mayor told me earlier that volunteers wrapped up the day yesterday with 13 pallets of sandbags ready to go this morning. And all of those efforts were thanks to those volunteers. High schoolers actually came through here yesterday to lay a countless number of sandbags down here. We had uh, people volunteering, coming from all over the place, and we were able to put the, together a lot of sandbags in a short amount of time. And as you know, Sheriff Osmond says the community is no stranger to flooding, especially after 2019, 2001, and actually on the Historical Society, they've got way back in 1965. But despite that, the businesses along this part of the river are heavily affected as the high waters are closing their businesses too. So the Sheriff's Office is asking that the community stays out of the area, especially with the detours and the closed highway. But they said once things get better, you should come by and patronize these businesses because they've really missed out on the business at this point in time. Live in Fountain City, this is Emily Haugen for News 8 Now. Ken, back to you. All right, thanks very much, Emily. In Fountain City, the river is expected to crest tonight and will stay level for a few days before dropping down again.